Hello and welcome to Real GPL once again. Today we are going to talk about one another theme and that is Ohio. So if you have bought this theme, then we'll talk about how to install and we'll also talk about what is the process for demo installation. So without any delay, let's have a look on that. So first of all, you need to download the theme which I already have did. I can show you the file. Once downloaded, go to your file wherever you have stored it okay and then just you know just extract it so i am going to unzip it so after un unzipping i got a folder and inside that folder i have three things one is ohio243 and that is the theme the second one is a plugin and the third one is also a plugin that is ohio importer so first of all what we have to do we have to go to our wordpress so go to your WordPress, go to theme section, click on add new and then choose upload theme. Click on the choose file, select your theme. And once selected, just click on, you know, install. So I already have selected it and now I'm installing it. It might take some time depending on the size of theme which we are installing. If you have a bigger size theme, just go and directly upload it to a file manager. So now, as you can see, the theme is already installed. I'm going to click on activate. Once activated, we'll follow the process. And that is, we have to install some pre-required plugins. So I'm going to click on begin installing plugins. I will select each and everything and then I will click on install. Again, it will take some time depending on your network speed, depending on your uh, server performance, but it will hardly take around, you know, one to two minutes, that's it. You can see easily like out of 12.6 is already installed. There are plugins like, you know, Advanced Custom Field, and then Elementor, then Ohio Extra, Ohio Importer. Ohio Portfolio, Slider Revolution, WP Bakery Page Builder, WooCommerce, Contact Form, blah, blah, and all, okay? So now go to install a plugin once again, then select all and then click on activate. So this is how we have activated our uh, all plugins which we have just installed. Now once done, go to a dashboard. So once I clicked on the dashboard, I got this, this uh, WooCommerce setup thing. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to skip it, okay? But in your case, you can complete it. Okay, so now I'm on my dashboard. I will go to Ohio theme section and I will click on import demo data, which is the most important thing after installing any premium theme. Now, as you can see in the demo importer section, there are many demos that can be imported. So let me import the default, I mean the primary demo, the first demo that we have, demo one, that is creative agency. So I'm clicking on import. And when I'm clicking on import, I'm getting this activate your theme, uh, you know, warning. So what we have to do, just cancel or close it, then go to plugin and if you remember, we have provided two plugins with the theme. So just click on add new, then click on upload, click on select file, and then install both this plugin, Ohio Extra and Ohio Importer one by one. So I'm going to do it, do it in front of you. So one is installed, let me replace it. Let me follow the same for the, for the next one, click on add new then click on upload then choose file click on importer open and then install so by doing this we have overwritten both the plugin which were which were earlier you know installed in our first step where we have installed all our plugins so now the second plugin ohio importer is getting unpacked installed now let me click on replace done once done now again you have to go to ohio section okay and if you go to ohio section you will see like the license is activated and it's a regular license now go to your import demo data section 
and here you can choose the demo which you want to import so right now i'm going to import the creative agency i'm clicking on import and there are two options one is elementor one is wp bakery so you can choose one page builder you know the one which you are comfortable working with so i'm going to choose elementor although i am comfortable with both so you can see like we are getting a status here and that is downloading the demo content so again it will take some time so you have to wait patiently till it happens and you can see it's already done the website so it was like this when we install the you know default wordpress and then if, if i refresh it i should see the creative agency demo but no man what is it you can see like we have installed something got something but you don't have to worry about anything it's just like a page setup so go to your dashboard once again and then uh, and then click on settings then go to reading setting and here choose the second option a static page and then choose your home page so we have to select here demo one creative agency and then we have to click on save changes so what happened exactly actually everything was imported but home page was not assigned so right now if we go and uh, refresh it we will see the exact demo that we have seen earlier so everything is properly you know imported so thank you very much for watching this tutorial we'll try to make more such tutorials in our you know upcoming videos now one more thing before i close this video and that is if you have not joined our membership plan, you must join it. You can also check our lifetime deals where you just have to buy once and then use forever and that too with the developer license. So thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye.